Okay, on this boat here, I've got the entire roof separated. Oh, I need to jump. Hold on. <coughs> so, for instance, this is cut through here. And then on the other side, it comes down here. And if I lift, yeah, I can totally lift it up. So, now I need to take this thing somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not sure how heavy it's actually going to be. I think I could probably lift it, but I don't know if I can lift it and move it in the sort of cramped circumstances I have here. <sighs> One good thing is this thing is strong enough that I could like lay it on its side and drag it part of the way. This is one of those situations where I need like Adventure Builder Village so I can call five friends and we could all just <laughs> pick it up over our head and walk it somewhere easily. But I only really have one friend here and he's busy right now, I think. I don't know that I'm gonna wait, so. <sighs> oh, how, how do I move something that big? It's 30 feet long, 10 meters, and then 10 feet wide. Like three meters wide. Well, whatever I do, I'm not going to be holding the camera while I do it, so ah, when I turn this back on, it might be somewhere else. Okay, I did move it just like a centimeter. You know, kind of got it under it in the middle and just just to check that I can actually lift it and move it a little. So it looks like if I could get it to the ground somewhere in, in, a, in a spot where I can kind of get under it, I might be able to lift it up and walk with it. Or at least I'm, I'm fairly certain I could just, you know, kind of pick it up and put it down, take a step, pick it up and put it down and, you know, slowly get it somewhere that way. The tricky part now is that I need to get it, I need to get it off. I need to get the whole thing down somehow off off these posts. Hmm. There's nothing to crane it up to. Well, I guess I'll just have to think of something. I'm 50-50 chance I'm just gonna go in there with, with ogre strength and just just and possibly damage something, but probably mostly be okay. And of course, the obvious thing is, why don't I cut it into pieces? Why well, don't I want to cut it into pieces? If I can move the whole thing in one solid piece and put it there in one solid piece, like that'll be, that'll be the strongest way to have it. So I'd like to keep it in one piece. Maybe? I don't know. All right, I gotta think about this for a minute. Maybe I'll go eat, eat lunch and maybe my brains will come up with some way of moving this thing. Okay, I've got the thing off its supports, supported on these two, hmm, what are these, pots. And when I did that, the back tilted down enough that <laughs> water, oh, this charge controller is dead. Anyway, water started coming out of this hole up here. So I was like, whoa, that thing is filled up, like all the way up to there. So I drilled a hole in the bottom, and now we're draining water. And I drilled holes in the bottoms of all of these. Two of them up there had a little bit of water. Not much came out though. That one though, that's got gallons. So, yeah, I'm gonna let that drain out and this thing should be lighter, significantly lighter. Not, not a ton, but. Okay, I think I actually have a plan now. And this is where I am right now. Right now it's just being held up by there and over there, and the back is totally free. I think what I need to do is I need to pull the whole thing over this way a little bit so that side can go down and then tip it up on its side and then go right through here and then up the path to my house and from there, and if, I can, if I can do this first part, the rest should be a piece of, piece of Terrible cake, but a piece of cake. I think everything important is out of the way. 
Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I gotta do it sometime. Thing's not gonna move itself. <laughs> oh yeah all right I'm wedged in up here kind of against the tree and then back here I'm between this tree and the boat and if I can move any one of these things I can keep going now right now is low tide but tomorrow morning the tide will be high I'll be able to back the boat up then I can lay this down pull it back a little bit turn it and then go up, go up the, you know, the back way, the side way. The side, I, I don't go up very often. I'm pretty sure I was looking, scouting out that way. I can get the whole thing up there, kind of laying right on its top. In the meantime, that is where my roof goes. I could even start working on it now. Hmm. It's kind of weird being in this boat with no thing above it at all. Hasn't been like that since I made it. 
So I guess what to do next is, well, let me check if those are level. Ooh. Yeah, these these pillars up here seem to be pretty level with the ones back there. Um, yeah, maybe do a bit of trimming, and then I can put one of these square tubes attached here and attached to that one back there, and then all of these rest on it. And then, of course, I'll have to put some supports because this isn't going to support that whole distance. Huh. And now I just need to figure out the details, like, what do I want the roof height to be? You know, higher is nice because obviously you go in here, you don't want it to be too low. But the lower it is, the more I could stick a sail right here. I could... Yeah. Yeah, the lower, the lower my roof is the more it opens up the possibility of, of using a sail. And since this front's open, uh, I can put a, a mast attached to this and then attached to the roof that comes out to somewhere around here and then goes up. I could even have the mast lay down when I'm not using it. You know, so if I'm going under some trees or under a bridge, not that I know of any bridges around, uh, you know, I can lay it down. Just lay it down whenever I'm not using it. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about a sail yet. Still, I want to think about it in the height of the roof. So that height makes it pretty easy to hang out. Sitting, because the roof will be there. Plenty of head space to sit here. I might, I might want it lower. I think, you know, I think the, the biggest roof lowness uh, deterrent, since what's it, it, it's, it's not going to be standing room in here. It's only going to be sitting room. But I am going to want to be able to get cargo in and out of here pretty easily. So I don't want it to get too low that I can't get stuff in and out. Right? This, this level is pretty easy to get stuff in and out. there. Uh, that'd still be all right. Maybe I'll go lower. I gotta think about it. I need to get my kids over here. Get some kids' opinions. <laughs>